What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys today we got some more market talk, and yo, um, as you can see, got a ton of cards, and we did make some MT, just waiting for some players to go up in price. So uh, yeah, for you, for all you guys who uh, have followed me and went through my MT methods, um, all these legacy cards that I bought, they are working out. So awesome for us to say, we should make some MT. And guys, as per usual, make sure to drop 20,000 MT in the comments for a chance at winning 20,000 MT. Uh, we do have a giveaway winner, so we will announce that in my comments, so stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, guys, let's hit 70 likes on the video. We literally are about to hit 100 likes on my video um yesterday so thank you guys for that let's go over the market we're gonna go over some market talks some snipe filters and all that good stuff and what to buy and what to sell so right now if you guys don't know we still got some crazy packs in and these packs are going away all right so we have a lot of time on these packs it honestly doesn't look like any content will be dropping so with that said if no content drops it's gonna be safe to buy today and possibly sell sunday why do I say Sunday? Because for some reason on Sunday, no one really plays the game. And I don't know. I guess it's just a family day. The, the market always seems to rise on Sunday. So today would definitely be a good day to wait and just buy some cards and just simply wait it out till Sunday. Play with them a little bit. Wait out till Sunday and then sell them. So let's get to the market. Um, Let's go. So Amethyst, NBA 20. A lot of people have been asking me what they should pick them up for. So we're going to go over that. Um, let's see if they're cheap still. 19k. So they did rise. I'm actually gonna pick up this AD for 18k. So if you guys do not know, earlier uh, yesterday, James Harden was around 12k. So if you guys did cop them, I told you guys to get them. Um, they're already rocking around 18k, which is big dubs. Kawhi, Paul George, everybody literally was 15k. Market is somewhat rising, so not bad for us. I guess that's dubs for us. But, um, yeah, kind of excited about that. This Snipe Filter is pretty good. Um, I would try out this Snipe Filter. It's been the money-making method, and there is a lot of new dynamic duos, like the Paul George, the Kawhi, Curry's got a uh, dynamic duo. Uh, but, yeah, to see the market rise is good. We're going to make that MT, and uh, let's go over some Diamond players that you should buy. And right now, one card that I believe you should buy is definitely Diamond Earl Monroe. Why? Because he is in the set with Bill Walton and everybody where you could get 200 tokens. I'm pretty sure I picked up like three already. I'm trying to get some for like under 9k. I got like four or three under for about 8,500, 8k. Um, they, could, they could keep going down because the locker code is still out. But this is the thing. Um, they should rise. I mean, they have value. It's a diamond point guard. It's actually good. I believe he should rise to at least 15k by Sunday. So if you could pick up a couple of them, and trust me, I really do think he should go up. There's two, like, why wouldn't he go up? It's a diamond point guard in a set for 200 tokens. Definitely believe that he should go up. And also, what I was thinking is if he went down that much, he went down about 20k because he was sitting around 30k. In this set right here, I feel like these bigger cards, so if you did get the Bill Walton, if you remember I missed the Bill Walton for 100k, if you did get him, you could maybe make a lot of MT, because it could raise their value a little bit more. As you can see, Bernard King is rocking around 80, the other day he was around, what, 60-ish? So yeah, their, rise, their value went up regardless, and I feel like the Earl Monroe going down will make them even a little more valuable. So, not a bad idea. If you do want to do the set, not is not now is not a bad time to do it, considering Earl Monroe is that cheap. And, uh, yeah, I do have a uh, George Mikan, and I'm going to sell him for 75 k I got him for 50 k flat, so I'm going to make about 18 k off my George Mikan. So, who has, whoever listened to me, um, you're taking dubs because I'm taking huge dubs. I sold Lou Hudson for 35 I got him for 22 uh, I sold two Lou Hudson's for 35. Actually, no, let's see. I sold I still have a lot of stuff to sell, but this is what I sold. I did I sold a couple Willis Reeds too for around 30, and I got them for 22. So uh Jamal Moshburn, I got 28k. I got them for about 21. I got a couple of them for 21. So I'll make like 5k there. Lou Hudson sold for 35. I got them for around 22, 23. So I'll make some MT there. I still do have a lot of cards to sell. Also, all these cards to sell. But uh so far, I'm selling all of them slowly. 
it is working out. My methods so far have been literally spot on. So if you have listened to me, you have definitely made MT. I'm just waiting for some stuff to sell, waiting for some stuff to go up. It's little. It's literally a patient game, bro. If you're not patient, you're not going to make MT. Um, but yeah, right now, I'm really liking the Earl Monroe filter. It's kind of fast because there's so many being pulled. Um, it's honestly seems like um, it's a good method. But if you guys want to buy Earl Monroe, wait, what? Why is he here if I enable him? Can you not enable him? I literally, oh, I have to add him to my collection. So what I would recommend for you guys to do, I would literally take this Earl Monroe, put him in your collection and get your diamond filter back to normal because he will ruin your filter. So forget the, the Earl Monroe if you want to snipe diamonds. Go to enabled, go to maximum buyout and simply raise it. Try out the diamond filter. It's pretty money because that Earl Monroe literally destroyed the filter. As you can see, all those legacy diamonds are pretty much back at its OG price. So that's dubs for us. Literally all of them. Willis Reed's, Lou Hudson's, they all went back up to like the norm, which is super exciting. Like Jamal Mashburn, 36K, 37K, Marquise Johnson, Lou Hudson, 34K. Everybody went back up in price. You could sell now. You could wait a little longer. But honestly, I think I'm going to sell most of my cards now. Jamal Mashburn at 30K is a good sell. Lou Hudson at 35k or above is a good sell. We got most of them for we got all the cards for 25k and under. I've literally picked up how many cards did I get? I got him for 50k. He's going for 76. So Dubs there. We got Dave Bing for around 28, 29. He's going for around 38, 39. Dubs there. We got Mosh Burns for around 23. He's going for 31. We got all of them for under 23, and we got some for 22. We got him for about 3k. I'm waiting on Boozers. Boozer is not a bad card to pick up. I would recommend him. Now, these Earl, Mon Earl Monroe's might be a little while to sell. They could take maybe even a week to sell. But once the like whole Thanksgiving locker code is like gone in about a week, his price should skyrocket just because he's going to be out of packs. There's really going to be no other way to pull him. But uh, yeah, as I said, bro, not a bad time to sell because <clears throat> you should have bought yesterday. Like I said, if you did buy cards... Everybody went up in value a lot, like big time. Everything went up probably, I would say, at least 25 30%. So big dubs for all you guys. I'm taking big dubs. My methods have been working. And also, since there is no content, literally, um, get the rest out of your team. If you want to wait till Sunday, it would definitely be a better day to sell. And also, bro, I kind of want to pop these packs. If you guys want to see a pack opening, let me know. I have the VC stacked up. I'm kind of waiting for moments packs to come out. I'm probably going to do a moments box pack opening. Hopefully, I don't have work, so I could just hopefully pull a new diamond and literally do the new moments of the week set and then show off the new content. But yeah, I'm kind of hyped. So um, let's see. Let's see what we got. So the Amethyst filter is doing good. This Amethyst filter right here is also pretty money. Uh, it's good for Boozer, and it's even good. You can maybe get like a Billy Cunningham who does have a little more value because he does have the new... Uh, dynamic duo diamond so boozers rocking around he i got a couple of him for 2500 and he's already at 4k so another tip for you guys if new content comes out and you notice that like an amethyst or a high ruby is really cheap i'm talking like three four k no like realistically amethyst so like i'm gonna show you right now so we got the boozer impacts right you see how he's like not rare he's like the second amethyst in the set He's going to be really cheap because he's going to be like a really common amethyst pull. That's how it usually works. So you're going to notice when content first comes out, he's going to be at like a, like a really like ridiculously low price that day. You should get him the day he comes out because for some reason, the amethysts are always really cheap the day he comes out. And slowly throughout the week, they do rise a little bit. And then when packs go gone, they go up even more. Like, for instance, I got Adrian Dantley's. He's at like 1800K, 1800. I got all of mine for 950. I mean, it's not a lot of profit. Like, let's say I make 800 or 700 off each. Let's say it's 7 times 10. It's 7K, and it's going to be pretty fast to sell. It's better than nothing, man. Little rubies, they add up. So, if I bought 10, I spent literally 900. I spent like 10K on them, and I'm going to make 7. I'm going to sell them for 17. So, pretty big dubs. I'm waiting for him to go up to like 25. Once he goes up to 25, we're all going to eat. But yeah, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. My tips for like literally my tips have been spot on. You can't even say they haven't. I hope I've been helping all you guys. If you want to see some gameplay or something, let me know. Whatever you want to see in the comments, literally just tell me. I want to know what I want to post. Like, let me know what to post. I'm building a community. Also, 
Follow me on Twitter because I want to get a little engagement on Twitter as well. So let me know, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to have a video tomorrow, the next day, the next day. You know how it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.